Good morning or good afternoon. Today we'll be recording a video on Quizette 616 for the regular sixth grade class. Please make sure you write your last name, comma, your first name, today's date, and your class color. Number one is division of decimals. So what you're going to do is you're going to write the, the first term inside of the divisor, and then 365 go on the outside. Sorry, 362. So now you have to find how many times 362 goes into 9. That's 0 times. Does 362 go into 98? No. Does 362 go into 984? Probably. Oops, I put the comma in the wrong spot. The comma goes here. So 362 probably goes into 900. And 84. So we have to try to figure out how many times it fits. So why don't we try 362 times 3. 2 times 3 is 6. 6 times 3 is 18. Carry the 1. 3 times 3 is 9. 9 plus 1 is 10. Oh, it's too much. So let's try 362 times 2. 362 times 2. Is, let me see, 2 times 2 is 4, 6 times 2 is 12, 6 times 2 is 6, sorry, 3 times 2 is 6, plus 1 is 7. All right, so it fits in twice, and make sure you have your stuff in order. So don't write 724 very tiny on the other side. So again, I'm going to say that one more time. Make sure that you line up your numbers in a nice way, like... Like, like right here, 9 and 7, 8 and 2, 4 and 4, 6. Because if you start getting messy, this is not going to work. You're not going to get the right answer. Okay, so 362 goes into 984 twice, which is 724 times. Now you're going to subtract that. 4 minus 4 is 0. 8 minus 2 is 6. 7 minus, sorry, 9 minus 7 is 2. So now we have 260, but 362 doesn't fit into that. So now we're going to bring this 6 down. How many times does 362 fit into 2,606? It's going to be a lot. So I'm going to guess, let me see, 362 times 10 would be too much. Let's try 6. And then let's also try 362 times 7. See if you can go a little faster than me. 2 times 6 is 12. 3 times, I'm sorry, 6 times 6 is 36 plus 1 is 37. 3 times 6 is 18 plus 3 is 21. Okay, now the next one, 2 times 7 is 14. 6 times 7 is 42 plus 1 is 43. 7 times 3 is 21. 21 plus 4 is 25. Ooh, I think it's going to fit. Okay, so 362 fits in seven times into 2,607, which is 2,534. Six minus four is two. You can't take zero away from three. You have to borrow. Ten minus three is seven. And then 5 minus 5 is 0, 2 minus 2 is 0. So we have 72 left over, but we still have this 4. Oh, but this works out nicely because, look, 362 times 2 is 724. And you have 0 left over. Whew. So 362 goes into 98,464. 9, 272 times. You can also check your work, which I recommend that you do. Bless you. So the way you check your work is you multiply your answer by the divisor. And then if you get 98,464, you did it right. So let's check it. 2 times 2 is 4. 7 times 2 is 14. 2 times 2 is 4 plus 1 is 5. 
Put a placeholder, 2 times 6 is 12. 43, 16, Alright, so we have four. Here, let me zoom it out. We're gonna write a little bit on Tuesday, but that's okay. So we have four, six, did we get what we needed? Yes, we did. If you look, this number matches the original number up here. So we did it right. <coughs> so the most important thing is to keep your things lined up. Number two, subtract 83 minus 12.76. We did some worksheets last, last week that I told you what you had to do. When you had 83, sorry guys, I don't know where this came from. I'm trying to delete it. All right, I'm just gonna put it on the side. That's never happened. All right, so let's say we write 83. Think of, think of um, money. If you had $83, you could write it as 83, or you could write it as 83.00. You could put as many zeros as you needed. You have to line them up when you subtract, though. You're subtracting 12.76. So do you really need these zeros on the side? No. You only need the two zeros. So you can actually erase those. Now we can solve for this. Zero minus six, you can't do. You can't borrow from the zero, so you have to borrow from the two over here. I mean the three. So now that's 10, but I have to turn that into a nine and bring the, bring the one on the, on the next number. 10 minus six is four. Nine minus seven is two. Bring down the decimal. 2 minus 2 is 0, and 8 minus 1 is 7. So we got 70.24. So a way you could check this, a way you can check this is if you take the second term, the thing that you subtracted, and add it to the thing that you found, it should add up to 83. So let's say you have 12.76 plus your answer. If you get 83 as your answer, you did the right thing. What's 6 plus 4? 10. 7 plus 1 is 8, plus 2 is 10. 2 plus 1 is 3, and then 1 plus 7 is 8. $83 is the same thing as writing it like that. So you got the right answer. You got the right answer. And the answer is 70.24. It's what we wrote in black. Now, number three, you also have to line them up because you're adding or subtracting. So we have 7.03 plus 33.006. So in the empty spaces, just put a zero and add. Zero plus six, you can do that. Zero plus six is just six. Three plus zero is just three. Zero plus zero is just zero. Bring down the decimal. 7 plus 3 is 10. And then we have 3 plus 1, which is 4. So we got 40.036. Another way you can check this is you can subtract um, either this one from that or the, the 7 from that. 7.03. I'm going to do the one that I told you. So we have 40, now we're checking. We have 40.036 minus 33.006. Six minus six is zero. Three minus zero is three. Zero minus zero is zero. Zero minus three, can't do that. 10 minus three is seven. Three minus three is zero. So my answer is 7.030. Would you look at that? That's up there. So we got the right answer. And again, the answer is this one right here. When we're checking, we're just trying to make sure that we found the right answer. 
Number four, you're going to have to multiply decimals. So number four, you don't have to line up the decimals. So just multiply 6,219 and 325. And then at the end, how many place values did I go? One, two, three. You're going to bring it that into account. So we have 62.19 and 325 and the decimals right there. So again, remember we did that activity last week? We went one, two, three. Three place values. Now let's just multiply. 9 times 5 is 45. 5 times 1 is 5, plus 4 is 9. 2 times 5 is 10. 31 is there. Place of holder, 9 times 2 is 18. Carry the 1, 3, 4, 12. Some of you can even multiply faster than this. 3 times 9 is 27. That's going to be 5. Oh my goodness, this is what I get for going fast. Oh yeah, 3 times 2 is 6, and then 3 times 9 is 18. Now add them up. Line them up too. Remember I told you, line them up, make sure you're neat. Okay, 5 plus 0 plus 0 is just 5. 9 plus 8 is 17. Carry the 1. So that's 11. Carry the 1. 2... Three, four, five, six. So 11 again. Three, six, 12, 10. Whew. Now, how many place values do I go? Three. three. So one, two, three. And then after every third digit, put a comma. So our answer, 62.19 times 32.5 is 2021. Point one seven five. Whoa, that's a lot. I'm going to use my calculator just to make sure that we got it right. And we got it right. Yay. Right here, I want you to write, be neat. Because some of you write like if you wrote with your feet. No offense. Write neat. Thank you.